Porcelain repair. What do you do when porcelain fractures off of a bridge or a crown? Do you remake the bridge or a crown? Well, in a case like this, you've got a four unit bridge and you hate to do that if you can do something else. So let's talk about this technique. The first thing I've done is just roughened this area if you need to. If it's a fresh fracture and the porcelain is clean, you don't really need to roughen it. It's jagged enough already. And now I'm scrubbing it with isopropyl alcohol on a cotton ball. You don't have to rinse it off. So this is 4% buffered hydrofluoric acid and it's specifically for porcelain. And I'm going to place that on the fracture site for about two minutes. Then I'm going to suction it off and then rinse it off real well. Just rinsing with my air water syringe. You'll notice I'm not using silane. Some of you will disagree with that. I've not used silane in about 35 years. The reason I don't use silane is because the studies show, and this is what I've found, that the, the mechanical retention of porcelain is plenty strong enough without silane. And if silane is not used correctly, it can be a contaminant. So I'm only teaching you techniques that work and I want to make them simple and I want to make them predictable. Then I'm going to place the primer adhesive copiously then blow that off. Then I'm going to cure the primer adhesive. Now this is very important for about five seconds. Next comes the filled resin. I'm placing flowable composite in small increments and between each increment I'm curing it for 20 I'm curing that in increment for 20 seconds. 